Hi, and thanks for stopping by and chatting with me, Aunt Nikki. Guess what? Review time. Isn't this awesome? This is fabric. It looks so real. This is awesome. Um, let's see if we can look at it. It has like, it looks literally like there's lights coming down off of it. It's so awesome. That is the best backdrop. I'm a photographer as well. And I cannot believe this backdrop. This is wicked. So cool. <sighs> so, I guess I could do a little bit of a review and a little bit of a meet and greet. Meet and greet review. How about this? We'll do a triple play. So here's the wall. And it's badass. I'm sorry. This is just badass. I just, I can't get over it now. Look at that. It really looks like there's light. Look at my, my hand being there. It looks like there's, I mean, that's just so intense. It's just awesome. So I got this from Amazon. And I will definitely put the links and stuff in the video. Also, my dog is here. And she's being totally gassy. And it's killing me. It's a baby girl. Gonna show your teeth? Smile. Good girl. Good girl. She's a good girl. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. Good girl. <laughs> or she is way gassy. Anywho, the wig. I'm sure you've noticed. So this was an Amazon buy. I think it was 12 bucks. It's pretty cute. I think I um, look very nerdy, especially with my glasses on. Or, um, you know, and if I put this hat on, oh my gosh, it does it. Yep. I'm so the, oh, oh goodness gracious, I think I like it. <laughs> I like it, but... <clears throat> So with my hair, then the wig on top, and then the hat on top of the, the wig, it gets very warm, very fast. But so here's this, another one. So I get vape for my fibromyalgia, medical marijuana. And this pen is really, really cool. And it's called Mig Vapor. M-I-G-V-A-P-O-R. And this is the Bug RX. They have killer sales going on right now on their website. And as a matter of fact, I just bought a new pen. It's like only this big. Here's another vape um, battery. It's really cool. The, so the cartridge slides right in here. And they have a little metal ring that goes around it, and it's magnetic. So the connection is magnetic. This is called the palm. But it's so tiny. Like, look at that. Like, you can't see it. You can't see it. I got carried away. I forgot where I was. I'm in the grocery store, and I'm like, you know, just puffing away until I'm inhaling, and I'm, like, trying to blow the smoke down my shirt, and it went, <laughs> it was just too funny. But anyway, um... I am looking for premium CBD vape juice wax. Um, I've been using the medical marijuana, like I said, for the fibromyalgia, but it just it isn't quite where I would like my pain relief to be. And I don't know, maybe I'm expecting too much out of pot. So, with that being said, I've written to CBD vape stores, vape pen, especially this company, particularly this company, because this pen is sold right at the dispensary. But, um, seeing if they would 
send me products to test and to talk about. Um, and the same thing with the CBD vape juice or wax, however. But I just would like to find something that actually gives you the relief. I don't think anything is going to give you 100% relief besides death. But hey, who am I? <laughs> So let's just connect here again. I think I'll be here tomorrow, too. And maybe we'll do some artwork. Maybe we'll just talk more about me. All right, I'll talk a little bit more about me. Except I'm really hot right now. I'm, like, cooking. Okay? I'm, like, cooking. So I have one son. He's... 19. I'm super, super proud of him. He is the apple of my eye, but he don't know it. <laughs> um, he lives with his bio dad and stepmom. And that makes it hard. Uh, he does come visit me. Not that I don't have a car. Not that I can't go drive to see him. He's busy. And... Um... It's hard. It's just, uh, it's like, you're my kid. What do you mean you're busy? <laughs> if I want to see you, I want to see you. Um, but I am very proud of him. He's an extremely cool artist, too. He's got some killer talent. He taught himself how to play guitar left-handed, too. He's just brilliant. Um Maybe I can get him to play me some background music or something. I usually have something going, but don't want to bore you guys with my meditation music or what have you. All right, I'll get nitty gritty and tell you a little bit more about me. I've been married three times. My first husband, I was 18 totally didn't know what I was doing and he mentioned he was in the army and I said oh I'm never going into the army unless I married into the army this guy looks at his watch and he says give me an hour yep I met him on Monday married him Thursday thought I was going to Bamberg Germany where he was stationed we were together 10 years and never physically together after he went to the go into the military I mean he was on leave rather so when he went back he just never come home and not like he died but he just was too busy doing other things in life so when I met my son's father He's like, when he found out I got pregnant, he proposed. And, of course, I said yes. And I think I was, let's see, I was 26 when I had my son. And I was visiting my sister pregnant. And I was living with the father. We weren't married. We were just engaged at this point. And, um... So, he was cheating on me with his current wife. Um, that was a blow. So, give him back the ring. And my third husband, well, he really didn't want to be with a woman. But it took him a while to tell me that. You know how hard it is to find out your spouse is just not the person you marry. Um, he's a cross dresser. And I mean, what do you say to that? Like, 
Oh. Gee, I'm glad you told me. My strap-on's out in the garage. Let me hook it up and we can work on cars. You got your tits. I got my dick. So, about being dismissed. Kind of felt like all my life, at some degree, I'm being dismissed. My one sister, she'll call love to help her. I love to be there for her. Sometimes it's too much, but I don't want her upset at me. So what do I do? I will do whatever it takes to get whatever she needs for that moment. And that's super hard. That's super, super, super hard. So, three husbands, a third, it's my best friend. We were just, we're best friends. It's just, it's sad, we kind of just grew apart, I think. Um, but I love him and always will love him. He's just a really good friend. But truly, I mean, I have him. And occasionally I talk to my son. And occasionally I talk to my one sister. That is it. I now have a couple new friends on Facebook. I done goofed up there. Thinking, let me get my videos out. I just went and add, 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 add. I added like 200 plus people. I'm getting everybody and their brother, and they're trying to call my, my, um, Facebook. Get out of here. You're not calling my Facebook. I done blocked at least 10 people already. And now I'm afraid to go on my Facebook. It's terrible, right? But, uh, you know, I have one pet peeve. I've been selling on Macari. I actually did a video on how to list on Macari. I'm getting mad. Real irritated. These people, please, I am begging you. If you think the deal is too good to be true... And maybe just too high for what the item is. Put it in Wish. Look it up in Wish first before you buy. I've seen rings that claim to be sterling silver, which I've gotten a lot. And I mean a lot from Wish. None. Zero have been authentic with being sterling silver. They have all tarnished. My hair, my ring, oh my goodness, got a hair in my eye. Um, they have all been horrible quality. I'm a big Lamar fan. And if you don't know what Lamar is, it's a stone that's found at the bottom of a volcano. And they're very, very rare. So it's on Wish for a dollar and a sterling silver setting. Okay. I had to, right? The ring comes. It's like, you ordered this, and this is what came. Does that make any sense to you? And the people in the pictures are literally saying, it's exactly as described. It's a lie. I bought a pair of boots from Wish. Didn't pay no more, no more than $21. Someone's selling them on Macari for 48 bucks. 48. Them rings you can buy for one dollar, hundreds of dollars, or 50, or 75. There's a miniature um, katana key ring I bought for myself. Someone has it up for ten dollars. I bought it for a buck. It's like, 
how can you be ripping off people so belligerently? That is my one big pet peeve with Macari so far. Don't be fooled between a dollar store item and merchandise. Do your research. That really bugs me. If you couldn't tell, it really, really bugs me. All right, my viewers. I love you all very much. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Share away because I need more, 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 more. I need more viewers. So share it. Maybe I can help your friend go through a hard time. I am going to do live feeds soon. Stay in touch. And check out my links below. For all you survivalists, I have a great YouTube channel for you. Check out my links. Signing off. Thanks for chatting with me, Aunt Nikki.